What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really funny and kind of cool effect that you guys can do in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins. No plugins are required, no special software is needed. The only thing you do need, however, is an iPhone um, and Final Cut Pro 10 for this to work and your video, of course, that you want to apply the effect to. And that is going to be the Memoji effect. And um, I'm gonna put on the screen right now the music video that I found that I was inspired to recreate and it's this one here. It's kind of interesting. I haven't seen this in a, in a lot of music videos. So I wanna show you guys how to implement it into your own videos. So what you wanna do is if you have an iPhone or if you don't have an iPhone, just borrow one. It's really that simple. And then what you wanna do before we even get started to actually get the emoji, um, and this is the original video here in case you wanna watch it. It's by Lil Dirk, watch your homie, link in the description below. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into, uh, or onto your iPhone and you wanna go into your messages, go onto the new messages icon, and then you're gonna go down to uh, the Memoji option here and make sure you have your Memoji set up. If you don't have it set up, it will just say create new Memoji or something like that. If you're borrowing an iPhone, you want to create your own just so you know you look similar to what the Memoji looks like. So you do that and uh, or you don't have to choose a face. Um, you can also do like these like this animals, a squid, monkey, robot, dogs, whatever. Um, but what we want to do is we want to go down to where it says if I move up here, you want to go to the three dots there and then you're going to have the um, emoji showing up like that and right now I'm actually talking now um, what you want to do is very simple um, you can click on edit if you want to edit the emoji you can change it however you want but what I want to do is uh, I want to go into the top right here and I'm gonna go to the record button right here um, now however I can't do this so I can't really show you because um, I'm screen recording with the lightning connector so I have this little button right here is disabled but you would hit this to record um, if you don't have that option just go to settings I think it's in control center so you want to look up control center here we go control center you're gonna go to customize controls and you can see that I have the camera option here enabled if you don't have it all you're gonna do is go down and find the record button which is going to be right over here somewhere oh I think I took it off there we go. so you're just gonna go scroll down hit plus and then you can move this um, wherever you want so I'm gonna move it there and now if I scroll down from the top right if you have an iPhone 10 so once you're at this point what you want to do now is you just want to talk however you want you know tilt your head however you want whatever um, and you would of course have the record button it will then record and then once you are ready you would hit the stop button and you would hit done and then you want to go into your photos and you're gonna have your original recording so if I revert this to the original here because I cropped it um, you're gonna see what it looks like so this is what it looks like originally here this is what it would look like once it's recorded so I'm gonna click on the edit button and we're gonna go to the crop button here if you're on the latest version and you're gonna have the dots here so you just want to trim this here like that or you can make it a lot smaller like that and then hit the uh, hit the done button and this will save the video with the crop settings so now you can push play and then just talk into it, whatever. Just hit the little share button and you wanna airdrop this to your MacBook. So click on this or your iMac, whatever you're using. And now you can delete this. So now you can drag and drop the video clip from your Mac into, time, into Final Cut Pro 10. So now I can just trim this to where I start talking. Perfect, I'm gonna trim the end because I don't need that. So now we have this here where I'm talking. Super cool, right? Now we're gonna to have to track this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make this um, smaller, but before we do that, we have to add a keyer. So go to the effects, go down to the keying option right over here, drag that onto the Memoji video, click on the sample color and click on to select the white area. Now once you are there, what you wanna do is start adjusting the fill holes. So drag this inwards until we have our corneas back in there. There we go, perfect. So now we have our white and our eyes. If not, it's going to look <laughs> really weird. So just enable that and you're good to go. It's all it's all finished. So now we have just have to track this. So if you have, for whatever reason, a plugin where you want to track this and make it very spot on, then by all means you do it. However, for this video, I'm showing you how to do it without plugins. So what you wanna do is just go into the transform tool, go to the edges or the corners and just make this smaller until you fit the person's or the subject's face or head. So I'm just gonna go around this size here. 
making sure that the playhead is at the beginning. And what we're gonna do here is click this little plus icon, it looks like a diamond button, click on this to add a new keyframe, and just skip every two frames, moving it a little bit. There goes two frames, two frames there, two frames here. There we go. So now if I click done and I go back and push play, this is what it looks like. Again, there's no key, like there's no special software at all to do this. You can do something as simple as that. And if your video has some color grading, which this music video does, you can add the same LUT or something similar to this. I'll link down in the description if you want to use this LUT. So shout out to the creator for that LUT. Um, so I'm going to go to the effects. I'm going to go to the color. I'm going to go down to custom LUT and drag that onto the Memoji. Go to the LUT and I already imported a couple of these. I'm just going to select the M31. And now it adds a little bit of color grading, just, just a bit to that face. So it matches the video clip overall a, a lot better. So this is what it looks like. Super clean, nice and simple. It's kind of funny. I mean, just a different effect that I haven't seen at all, really. And I, I think this would be kind of a, a great way to not even just add it to your music videos, but to also add it to your vlogs. Comment down your video ideas for what you want to watch next time. And again, new video will be out tomorrow. Video all week this week at 9 a.m. MST, and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.